In this tutorial, we will learn about function in JavaScript. A function is a block of code that performs the specific task. Functions in JavaScript are reusable block of code that can be called from anywhere in your program. Here is the syntax to declare a function. A function can be defined using the function keyword followed by the function name. The body of a function is written within this curly braces. Now let's create a function to print a text. We will use the function keyword and the function name is greet. To print any text, we will add console.log and message in the double quote. Now we need to call this function to execute the code written in this function. For calling this function, we will use the function name and parenthesis. So simply we will add great and this parenthesis. So this statement will evoke the function or call this function. After that you can see the output in the console tab. Hello great stack is printed here. So this is the function declaration using the function keyword and the function name. This is the body of function where we will add the code that will be executed within the function. And this code is for calling this function or evoke the function. Now we will learn about parameters and arguments. Parameters are the variable that are declared in the function definition, while the arguments are the value that are passed to the function when it is called. Let's see one example of function with parameters. We will create one function with the function keyword and the function name is greet. And in this one, we will add two parameters. First name, comma, last name. So this first name and last name are variable that are declared while declaring this function. This is known as parameter. Now we will add the code in the body of this function. Here we will add console.log and we will add the text. Hello. plus there will be first name then we will add plus and one space within double quote then again we will add plus and last name so it will print hello first name and last name in the console tab so right now we have declared the function with two parameters now we have to call this function while calling this function, we have to pass two values that will be arguments. So to call this function, we will add the function name greet. And with this function name, we have to add two values. So let's add first value, Elon, comma, Musk. So we are passing two values when calling this greet function. Now you can see the output in the console tab. Here it is printing hello Elon Musk. Let's add a space here. Now it looks good. Hello Elon Musk is printed in this console tab. We can pass any data type as argument. So let's add another data type. I will add 200 that will be number. Here also we will add 100. Now see the output. You can see. It is printing hello 200 and 100. So we can pass any data type as argument while calling the function. We can pass less or more arguments while calling a function. If we pass less arguments, then the rest of the parameters will be undefined. If you pass more arguments, then additional arguments will be ignored. Let's see one example. If I just pass greet Elon and comment this first call here you can see the output it is saying hello elon and undefined because we are passing only one argument and here we have two parameters first name and last name so this elon will be stored in this first name so it will print hello and the 
first name is Elon and in the second parameter which is last name we are not passing any argument so it will be undefined so that's why it is printing hello Elon undefined the last name is undefined so we can pass less argument now let's see another example if you pass more arguments here if I add Elon comma Musk comma Mr. Now see the output. Here it is printing hello Elon Musk. So the first argument will be stored in the first parameter which is first name. Second argument will be stored in the second parameter which is last name. And this third parameter will be ignored because we have only two parameters here. So it will only print this hello and the first name Elon and last name Musk. The third argument will be ignored. Now let's learn about default parameters. Default parameters in JavaScript are parameters that have a default value. This means that if the argument is not passed to the function, the default value will be used. Let's see one example of default parameters. Here we will create one function. Write the function name sum. And in this sum function, we will add two parameters which is x and y. Now in this body of function, we will add console.log and it will log the x plus y. It will add the x and y value and it will display in the console tab. Now to call this function, we will add function name and parenthesis. But here you can see we have two parameters x and y. So when calling this function, we have to pass two arguments also. So let's add two values 10, 15. So this 10 will be stored in x, 15 will be stored in y and this console.log will display 10 plus 15 that will be 25. You can see in the console tab, it is printing 25, 10 plus 15. Now you can see if I remove 15 from here and we are just passing 10. 10 will be stored in x and y will be undefined. And here we are printing x plus y. So let's see what will be output. Here it is printing nn. Why? It is because here we are adding 10 plus undefined. x plus y will be 10 plus undefined. That's why it is printing nn. That means not a number. We cannot add the undefined n number. So it is printing nn. Here we are passing only one parameter and you want this function to work. For that we can add y is equal to 0. Suppose we have added y value 0. Then you can see the output in the console tab. It is printing 10. Let's see if I add 50. We are passing 50 in x and y default value is 0. So x plus y that means 50 plus 0 that will be 50. You can see the output 50 is printed. So 0 is the default value of this y parameter. And here if we pass two numbers 50 plus 30 then it will use 30 in this y. You can see the output. 50 plus 30, 80 is printed here because we are passing two arguments 50, 50 will be stored in x, 30 will be stored in y. So this was the default parameters in JavaScript. Now we will learn about function return. The return statement can be used to return the value when the function is called. The return statement donates that the function has ended. Any code after return is not executed. Let's see one example. If I create one function and function name is add and in this one we will add two parameters a and b. Now we can add return a plus b. So this function will return the addition of a and b. Now to call this function we will add the function name add and in this one we have to add two values 
as argument so we will add 10 and 20 so this will call this function and this function will return the addition of 10 plus 20 so we can store this result so here let's add one variable with the let keyword let result equal to add function so the return of this add function will be assigned in this result variable now we can print this result we will add console.log the sum is result now you can see the output in the console tab it is displaying the sum is 30 if we add 10 and 40 you can see the output in console tab the sum is 50 so this return statement will return the value if we add any code after this return a statement like a multiply by b this code will not be executed return a statement denotes that the function has ended any code after this return statement will not be executed in javascript a function can return another function also let's see one example here if we create one function with the function name fn1 so this is the first function here i am adding one parameter x in this function 1 we will create another function let's create function fn2 and this will accept one parameter y now in this second function we will add return x multiply y so the function 2 will return the multiplication of x and y next after this function 2 we will add return fn2 so when we will call this function 1 it will execute this function 2 also and then it will return this function 2 so function 1 is returning another function that is function 2 to call this function we will add fn1 parenthesis and we will pass 1 argument so let's add 3 so here we are calling function 1 and passing 1 argument let's store its value in one variable we will add let result is equal to function 1 and try to print this result console dot log result so you can see the output in the console tab here it is displaying one function so you can see when i am calling this function one it is returning the function two and that function two is stored in this result now the function two is stored in this result so we can simply call this result like this result for the second function also we need one argument so we will add two and let's print this one we will add console.log and print this result 2 you can see the output it is displaying 6 because in function 1 i am passing 3 that will be x and function 2 i am passing 2 that will be y and x multiply by y will be 3 multiply by 2 is equal to 6 let's understand this example again here we have the function 1 this function 1 has returned a statement and this return statement is actually returning the function fn2 which is declared here so the function is returning another function now we can store the return value in any variable so here we have called and stored the return of the function 1 in result with this console log we can see what is stored in this result so in this result function 2 is stored so to call this function 2 we will add a result and we will pass one argument so this was another example of return a statement in javascript function so this was all about function return function parameters and arguments and default parameters
In the next video, we will learn about callback function, anonymous function and recursive function. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Great Stack to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.